Let us take you on an intergalactic journey to the moon while riding a rainbow. Man, that sounds, I'm so relaxed. Right? I'm so relaxed now. Were you relaxed while you were playing Rainbow Moon on your PlayStation Network? No, not relaxed. No? This is not a relaxing game. This is a grinding game. There's a lot of grinding. There's a lot done. of grinding. I did not, know, did not know what to expect. Rainbow Moon, I thought I was in trouble. <laughs> $15 download, this better be high quality. And lo and behold, I was really impressed and surprised by Rainbow Moon. This is a pretty awesome throwback RPG. I must agree with you, my friend. Nice. I put hours into this game. I just sank my way into it. It starts off, you're just this character, Baldrin or Fubar, as my character was named. And you get pushed into this weird mystical tube and you get sent into this intergalactic dimension where you don't know what the hell's happening. This reminded me a lot of Final Fantasy Tactics. That's yeah. the, first, the first thing that comes to mind. But at first, you know, you only have Baldrin. You just have your one character. And for the first maybe two hours of the game, it's really kind of slow moving. And Nose grindstone. Yeah, and you're just, you know, there's not, you don't have a lot of skills. You don't start off with really much at all. And it isn't until maybe you get two or three hours into the game where you start to get other characters and you start to fight enemies that are really tricky and require a lot of those skills. Yeah. And once you start to get moving with the game, you just start getting addicted. And, and you're right, that grind becomes totally enjoyable as opposed to a drag. Well, because it's, it's one of those games where you initiate the combat. I mean, you can run up to characters or bad guys you will see in the world and start fighting them. But when you're running around the world without seeing the bad guys, a message will pop up and be like, hey, there's two of these guys, two imps, two honeybees. Would you like to fight them? And you don't have to. Yeah. But I'm, most of the time, I'm like, oh, yeah, I want to fight them. I want to level up. Let's go. I love that. It's a great idea because it's basically making random encounters optional. I think they also did a really nice job with the visuals. I mean, it's not a fancy looking game. It's pretty basic, but it's smooth. And I thought the game had a lot of character and charm to it. Like the way that the characters look, the animations, these little enemies you fight, I thought were really cool looking. They're yeah. interesting. There's a lot in this game to really enjoy. And more than anything that really blew me away with this game is the sheer size and scope of it. I mean, it's this huge. is essentially an open world tactical RPG. I mean, there's definitely a kind of a linear progression at the beginning on that first island. Once you get off that island, you get a little boat and you can kind of scour around the uh, shores. Chilling on a raft. You go to other islands, you can kind of explore quests at will at that point, and you still have a main quest to get back to your land, but you really do a ton of this combat and fighting and exploring. It's probably got 100 hours of gameplay, I wouldn't doubt, and suddenly that $15 price tag for me, once I started realizing the scope of this thing, I'm like, this might be the best deal I've ever seen on the PlayStation <laughs> Network. This is an Im immense game I mean, I, the price. You know, the first hour, I was like, this is going to be one of the those games, I'm just gonna get super bored, super fast, and I'm not gonna wanna play it. And then I kept saving, I'm like, oh, six and a half hours, huh? Seven hours, jeez. <laughs> Nine hours into this game, holy crap. Where'd all the time go? What have I been doing? <laughs> I recommend checking it out, especially if you're a JRPG fan. That's why I'm giving it an eight out of 10. I'm giving it an 8.5. There's so much game here. It's even better than a triple rainbow.